Hey guys, my name is Nicole and I'm a freelance video producer and media trainer here in London. In this video I want to explain to you difference between Premiere Rush and Premiere Pro. These are both editing softwares, but there are huge differences between them. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you through some of the differences which are crucial for you in order to decide which application you're gonna use. And you can use both of them if you have the whole Adobe package, but is it worth it to learn Premiere Rush or should you just learn Premiere Pro and that's it? I'm gonna take you through this and answer all your questions in this video. And by the way, if you have more questions, comment below and I'm gonna answer everything. And don't forget to subscribe. For those of you who worked in Premiere Pro, you know that you can learn it in a couple of days, but it takes a lot of practice until you really feel comfortable. You can customize a lot of things, right? So you can customize um, all the templates, you can customize motion, you can customize um, anything that you want to create from scratch, okay? So you cannot do that in Premiere Rush. In Premiere Rush, basically you're working with templates which are already made in terms of animation. And then you change those templates. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can change colors, you can change any kind of element in that graphic. So if you have like just um, one line here, one line here, and then text and line here, like you can change everything except for animation, so motion. There are no motion controls in Premiere Rush whatsoever, okay? Of course, in Premiere Pro, you have a lot of these options because you can create all those things from scratch. So you have keyframes, you have any kind of motion um, possibilities and functions. If you think like, oh, I can only work with templates, there are really a lot of templates in Premiere Rush and you can install more of them. If you want to know how, go to the description of this video. I do have a tutorial, like one minute, where I explain how to do it. Um, so templates are really a lot of them. You can basically download, install, and work with them. And when you change them, they don't look like templates anymore. So it just looks like something you created. So it looks really cool. And it already has all those animation that you would actually have to create from scratch in Premiere Pro, which would take you like hours seriously hours. So it has a lot of advantages um, in terms of when you're really designing something, especially for social media. So Premiere Rush is not 100% made for long videos. So if you want to basically edit like um, a huge three day conference or just one day conference and you import it in Premiere Rush, like it literally might crash. It is made for social media, like it's literally made for square videos, one minute square videos, 15 second stories, um, vertical videos, uh, widescreen videos, but like kind of like a short. Um, so Premiere Pro, you know, you can import anything you like, you can edit movies in Premiere Pro, okay, films. Um, so that's a huge difference. In Premiere Rush, when you like never ever edited anything in your life and you use like iMovie or whatever, you go to Premiere Rush and you can literally learn it quickly and understand how it works. Of course, it needs a little bit of practice, but in terms of learning, you will learn this quicker than you will learn Premiere Pro because it's very simple. Like it's much more simplified than Premiere Pro. For example, you can only work with four video tracks and three audio tracks in Premiere Rush, and that's it. For those of you who never edited, basically you build your video so you can have like your interview or one graphic in video track one, and then you build it, right? So if you want text, you need another track. If you want text at the same time to appear, another track. And then if you want the logo to be throughout the whole video, you need another track, and you've got already four tracks, and that's it. And for the audio tracks, um, basically, the background music could be and sound effects and voiceover, and that's it. If you have edited before, you know that limited options for video and audio tracks is something unheard of, basically. In Premiere Pro, you can go, like, infinite, pretty much, if your computer can handle it. So this is, like, a big difference, but I've been working in Premiere Rush for some time, and I can tell you that... I can squeeze everything in in four tracks, 
for social media. So I wouldn't say like it's such a big deal because if you had more tracks, maybe they felt like you would try to push a lot of graphics like in one uh, in one segment and it's not good because on social media if everything is fast people if you put too much text in it in different tracks people will not read it because they don't have time and so on so it's kind of like designed for social media so it doesn't let you do a lot of things that you can do in premiere pro for your own good i would say <laughs> so basically in premiere pro you can color grade, color correct, completely, like you can change the color, I can change the color of my shirt right here. But in Premiere Rush you have these kind of, it looks kind of like Instagram filters. So you just basically apply filters. You can also kind of like edit, you know, contrast and saturation and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's very limited when you compare it to Premiere Pro where you can like adjust anything in terms of color and light. Audio is the same thing. So you put the video in and you're editing and then you have a little bit of background noise and it just takes one click and then you apply background noise removal and that's it, you know? And there's no like other options. There's no parametric equalizer even though you don't know what it is. There's nothing like that. So it's good it's bad as well. So in Premiere Pro you have like so many effects, so many options for audio editing, but also you do have very very similar things um, on the Essential Sound panel as well as in Premiere Rush. So you also have AutoDuck in both of them where automatically you can make your music to go down when somebody is talking and then when they stop it goes up which is a great feature, it's so easy to set up in both of these apps. It gives you, Premiere Pro gives you options. Do you want to do everything manually from scratch or do you want to have everything quickly done and not to think about it that much? It's definitely great for complete beginners and to kind of like understand how editing works. Um, in terms of Premiere Pro, if you really want to do this like properly, but within months, to learn how to do those animations from scratch and how to make them look really cool, then go for Premiere Pro. But if you really like just want to edit something, nothing too complicated, you don't want to go deep, you just want to get it done, go for Premiere Rush 100%. Basically, another thing is that there's no save button, so you cannot save anything in Premiere Rush um, because it's saved automatically, don't think that <laughs> it's not. Um, so in Premiere Pro, of course, you have automatic saving setting every 15 minutes. In Premiere Rush, it doesn't exist. So you can control, like, Command S, nothing's gonna happen. So everything you, every time you do the change, it saves auto automatically to your local computer disk. So uh, there's no save, um, which is a little bit tricky sometimes because, you know, they still work on it, they update it, they figure out, like, things that they go uh, they go wrong so um you always improve when you update basically premiere rush um but it also means that sometimes you have some kind of a bug and it doesn't wor really work that well so it can crash and so on um which happened to me mostly more on mobile so basically there's another point you can work in premiere rush from your mobile phone so there's an app it's called Premiere Rush and you just download it and then you edit videos there. If you sync everything with your cloud, then basically Creative Cloud, not Apple Cloud or whatever, um, then it's going to appear on your desktop as well, whatever you do from your phone and vice versa. So um, that's quite cool. I think it's completely unnecessary, but anyway, so you can create nice vacation video from your phone pretty quickly. Um, it seems very similar and actually like almost the same um, to use Premiere Rush on the phone and so on, but really I did have a lot of issues with the export in the end. Um, it just gave me the error all the time and I think like I had to do it like eight times for it to work and so on. But as I said, they still improve it. So the, they are trying to improve it all the time. So that's cool. Um, another point in Premiere Pro, we have a new feature which is amazing, so that's transcription. Automatic transcription, if you put the video in, you hit transcribe, you're gonna have the whole thing subtitled like in a couple of seconds or minutes. In Premiere Rush, there's no way you can add subtitles, like at all. 
you can you can't even add a text that just doesn't do anything like the text that just like appears and disappears they deleted this option it was available if you have older versions of premiere rush you will see that option um, but it's gone right now in 2021 and you can only create text that has some kind of animation so it like flies in appears it really cool way but you cannot do this to create a text that just doesn't do anything so no subtitles no nothing if you want subtitles like flying in flying out not a good idea really there's no way to organize any kind of folder right so you just import your files videos images logos and so audio there's no way to create folder and organize it because adobe assumes like you're just gonna create your social media video and you go like get out never come back because social media video has pretty much life of 24 hours and that's it so that's why probably it's not there basically you can import images that you can it's called pan and zoom um you can see other videos on premiere rush in my playlist or um, on my channel um, where i explain and show you how to do that so images you can make them move with pen and zoom um, you can add logos, so PNGs, um, you can add music, you can add sound effects, you can add footage from your phone, from your camera, like you can add import basically anything and work with it. So no worries there, just like with Premiere Pro basically. A great thing is once you take a template in Premiere Rush and then customize it, just like in Premiere Pro, you can save it as your own. So basically you customize it align it with the brand and then you save it so for the future use and you can do this in premiere pro and premiere rush as well and it's it's a great feature like it saves you a lot of time in the for the future another thing which basically comes down to again like being the beginner of video editing um so in premiere pro when you export like you have so many exporting options like variable bitrate uh constant bitrate um frame rate, resolution, uh, audio settings, all sorts of things. And you don't know what to do. Like uh, presets, million presets. Um, in Premiere Rush, it's pretty straightforward. So you're going to get full HD or HD. Basically, it just going to give you like, instead of beat rate, it's just going to give you options like high quality, medium quality, low quality. Um, if you want to make the video a little bit smaller, but just think about you're going to lose quality when you do that and pretty much that's it you know and you just export and that's it um, so it's quite simple um, also what is great which Premiere Pro doesn't have um, basically if you want to create social media videos so of square video or vertical video in Premiere Pro you have to create a special sequence for it and you have to input the resolution and aspect ratio yourself and you have to make sure it's, and also frame rate, you have to make sure that it's compatible and it's correct if you want to create this. You can save this as a preset, so for the future, but you have to first time, like, you have to create it. And when you switch between the, you know, vertical video and square video, it doesn't change. You have to adjust um, the graphics. Um, if, you know, if you put the whole sequence in, but, you know, that's a different tutorial. But in Premiere Rush, you have literally, like, four options with, like, one click. And with icons so you have vertical video square video 4x5 and 16x9 you decide like which format I want to create and you just click on that and the settings change you don't have to like think about resolution think about nothing it everything changes so everything is done and then the best part when you finish the video so you do like a square video for Facebook you export it for Facebook and you want the same thing but you want to create a story out of it and then you just click to create a story from that. Everything adjusts exactly to square video. All your graphics all of a sudden fit, like with one click. The only thing doesn't fit the images if you import. One of the most important things and I think improvements that Premiere Rush should do is the fact that you cannot align things like graphics. In Premiere Pro, you can make sure that it's like in the center. So if you create a text, you put it in the center and you can do this with snap to monitor. I have tutorial on that as well. Or you can do it from essential graphics panel to put this in the center to make sure it's exactly in the center. There's no such thing in Premiere Rush. And this is, I think, something that 
is just ridiculous and I think Adobe should add this um, quite soon. I think that summarize this video and um, if you have any questions again like just leave the comment below and I also do train Premiere Rush online as well as Premiere Pro so if you want one day Premiere Rush is one day training and Premiere Pro is two days for the beginners and then two days for intermediate so if you want to learn online how to use those softwares or just Rush or just Premiere Pro or both let me know in the comments and we're gonna set this up via Zoom. Uh, the second thing is basically, again, if you have any questions, leave the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I wish you nice editing. Thank you for watching.